Okay, good old bump rings, but I got some lights out. Today I've got some really bad wiring on this light fixture here. Both of the light deals are shot. Let's see here. I've got the power turned out. This one's shared with my uh, ceiling light over on the other light, so kind of proof that my switch is turned off. Gotta pull the bulbs out since I'll be changing these lights anyway. Probably a lot of rusty stuff dropping. Might not be a bad idea to put some type of a drop cloth or something down in order to catch the, the rusty stuff that's falling down. But anyway, loosen these two set screws here. And then we'll be able to turn the fixture out like so. Just completely fell apart there. Come on, buddy. Actually, this I can just take it right back to the actual wiring. I'll do it that way. I need to pass my wiring through that insulation, but get rid of all this. We'll take it up. Make our connections in the junction box. Show you how to rebuild this. Got his new deals here. So I'll do this somewhere where I can clean up my mess easier. Oh, yeah, as you saw, this is pretty bad here. What we've got is these release tabs. And so, just get up underneath there like that. Pull out the release tab and we'll put our new one in like so and just push it down into place and then we'll put the wiring up and through. Release that there. Put the wiring through. For the other one, just put my screwdriver in and twist. It's that easy. Pull it on out. And push the new one in. Okay. And now we'll do our wiring. Once again, we'll feed it right on through. The problem that happens with these is you're only supposed to use a 60 watt light bulb with these. And every once in a while someone will put a like a 100 watt light bulb in there and you can get more light. But it's rated for a 60 watt bulb so don't want to put a 100 watt bulb in there. Alright, there we go. Now I just need my insulation piece. this way. Okay, grab my insulation. And we want to pass our wiring through. And we'll just go with passing the wiring up through the center hole.
Okay, now we can make our connections and fix this all up here. So we've got our insulation on through. We're going up top. here and going to be pulling both the neutrals, the white wires together and just twisting them together and twisting them together with our neutral wire top here. Just like so. Put my wire connector on. Strong. And now the hot wires, same thing. These were pre stripped, which is kind of nice. And now wrap it around the hot wire. Same deal. Move that up a tiny bit. And we'll run our wire nut to that. Now our wire nuts are nice and strong, capable of holding the whole thing. Now we need to put our wire connections, fold them up into the box. I like them up in the box because that's where you get heat build up, is at the wire connections. So there we go. Now we need to locate our screws and push them on through this insulation here. This is the the trickiest part. It's easier if you can find the original holes or if you need to push it over the insulation. So it's going to pop through the other side as well so it can make it a little easier to see where the screws are as I'm trying to rotate this puppy in. There's one, there's two, and now we're turned in and we're on. Good, good, good. Okay. So now we'll tighten those screws down now that they're in the smaller or the slot areas. it out. And again, you only want to use 60 watt bulbs here. 60 watts max. You can use smaller, but any larger wattage will cook the wiring, melt the wiring, and you don't want that. move those a little bit so they're not sitting directly against the, the metal. There we go. Light fixture all fixed. Now I'll put my cover back on, cleaned it out, and uh, set it back on up there. This has three screws that that uh, you just alternate tightening each one. You don't want to turn the lens once you've tightened it because you can crack it if you put pressure on the, on the lens. So what you want to do is loosen your screws, set it in place, and then alternately tighten all three screws 
until it's nice and snug. And just finger tighten. And not going past tight, just going just going finger tighten. And I find it best not to use a tool on these. It does have a Phillips screw head, but you can actually tighten these up too much and snap the glass. Okay, okay we're good to go there. One light fixture, all fixed. Good to go. There it is. And this one's linked on this other light right there. So. Good to go. One light fixture, all repaired, rebuilt.